Hello, hi, and welcome, y'all. This is Oki the Froki, and this is my third episode of my Let's Play video of Pokemon Soul Silver. So last time we conquered the Bell Sprout Tower, Bell the Sprout Tower, and that was the opposite of exciting. So I thought I'd just go ahead and do the next episode now. And I told you guys we would check out this house. So we have a girl who nicknames her Pokemon after food, and another girl who tells people that she does that. Great. I call my Pidgey Strawberry. <laughs> okay, that was thrilling. Okay, so glad I spent part of my video time doing this. So now, I think it's about time we challenge Faulkner, the gym leader of Violet City. Violet City Pokemon Gym! Does it have the certified trainers? I wanna. S I forget if, um. Nope, guess not. Okay. Um. Yo, Chip of the Making! I'm a trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe that a championship dream can come true, you believe, then it's in a glass type of league together. Yeah, oh, thanks. That's good to know. Are you saying that because I happen to. Woo! Wow, what a ride! That's what she said. He said. Whatever. Somebody of them. Oh. I probably should have switched out my grass type um, before this person accosted me. So this guy's ridiculously high. That's what I'm getting from what he just said, because I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. You are challenged by Birdkeeper Abe. Alright, Abe. I'm going to show you that it is poor conduct to challenge somebody high while you're on the job. I find that unprofessional. So, however, Bellsprout is not the appropriate Pokemon to teach you said lesson, so Ben, get it. Ooh, it's growling at me. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, attack is so lowered. Oh my gosh, whatever shall I do? I'll use Gust. That's special, I believe. So, well, I would have liked for it to do a little more damage there, but I'll take what I can get, I guess. Give it another Gust. Oh no. Yikes, that's a hard-hitting peck. But, 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 should be, should be okay here. Woo, and randomly I'm faster than it this time. I'll take it. Because that means that's Biro. It's going down. Do, 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 do. Okay. Abe. Should probably not get high at work. That's my lesson to ya. Let's switch to the other Pokemon that won't be much use of this gym. Yes, I am talking about old khaki pants. Do 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 do. Oh, I can't. Oh my gosh, these invisible paths got me tripping. Oh, so much so that I just wasn't even remotely prepared for this. Ho ho. Does this guy have ho ho? That seems hardly fair. Especially a Kakuna isn't gonna stand a chance against a ho ho. Oh my gosh, I'm terrified. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, at least it's starting out with a Pidgey. Which gives me enough time to switch out this Kakuna to Mr. Sentra. Oops, spoiler alert. Okay. Pidgey, use, tackle. That's fascinating. Sentra, attack it quickly. Whoa! Whoa! Holy Oh. Somehow, I think I would be better off if that happened against the gym leader. But maybe it will. I who's to say that it won't? Okay. Oh, by the way, I did do a little bit of training off screen because I, well, I found that I wasn't quite ready for um, Faulkner with the Pokemon and the levels they were when we last left off. But and <laughs> at that point, I realized that um. <laughs> Cyndaquil evolves at level 14, but I didn't want to evolve that off screen. I wasn't recording and I just thought it would be better if I did that while we were all together as a family. So, if my, um, my strategy was to leave just enough CXP left for it to evolve right before I face Faulkner, let's see if that worked. Yes! Ugh. 
And I checked, I don't think I'm missing out on any moves by evolving at a level 8, so... Let's just see what happens here. Oh, spoiler alert! Cindy is evolving. And... I realize it makes exponentially less sense for her, um... A Cyndaquil or, or a Quilava or a Typhlosion to be named Cindy. I clearly didn't plan this out very well. But, regardless, Cindy is now a Quilava! Woo! Okay, and I'm thinking that it might behoove me to heal before I face this stim leader. I have to be in the middle. Oh, okay, that was exciting. So to the Perkamern Center we go. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend. It is like really snowy where I am, and it's terrible. That's my story. Hi, Nurse Joy. I want to heal up my Pokemon. Please and thank you. Oh, look at that Kakuna. Look at how it just hopped on the counter. Isn't that just Adara Bubbles? Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna try not to cut any footage this time because a couple of people mentioned how my previous two videos were a little choppy. Um, because I cut a lot of battles. And sorry, I mean, what? You, either you'll get a lot of a 30-minute video with a lot of boring battles, or you can get a chop kind of choppy video. I didn't think it was that bad. But I feel like the gym battles are kind of important, so oh, never gets old. Anyway, enough of that. So let's not lead with Kakuna. They can wait. Centra, leaving this up to you, buddy. Alright, and you must be Faulkner. Let's talk. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Gym Leader of the Pokemons. People say you can clip flying time Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow- Oh, he's one of these people who's like overzealous to the type of Pokemon they happen to train. That's annoying. Ooh, but he's kind of cute. He's kind of dreamy. Hey Faulkner, what you doing after this? I uh, wanna- Wanna hang out? Wanna maybe grab some tea? Some dinner and drinks? Can, you know? Maybe ruffle some of the- okay, let's stop there. <laughs> Centra it. If I beat him, then I'll show the dominance in our in future relationship, too, so that was just great. <laughs> Alright, so- ooh! Good! I did get a critical hit against the gym leader. I think it's the next Pokemon against whom I'll need it a little bit more, but let's just, let's just go with it, see what happens. Okay, it's Pidgeotto time. This is going to be terrifying. The wind is finally with us. You just lost your one Pokemon. I mean, don't get cocky now. Okay, so his tackle, as it turns out, hits much harder than my quick attack. That's discouraging. Ooh, I don't even want to know what this gust is going to do. Disgusting. Oh, poor Centret. <sighs> I'm conflicted. I don't know if I should um, bother with any other Pokemon. I'm just going to go straight to Cindy. I think Cindy can probably handle this. It's Oh, it's Cindy's debut as a Quilladin. I mean, a <laughs> Quilava. Uh, if it were Quilladin, I would name it Jasmine. And then it would sing a whole new world with me. Okay, that was powerful, but it was a critical hit. We can still fly! Well, yeah, it's a flying Pokemon. Of course you still can. <gasps> wow! That was much easier than my failed attempt when I that I did the first time, which caused me to do said off-screen shaming. Um, there. Secret's out. That happened. It was unfortunate. <laughs> oh, Faulkner. Such a class act. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird's Pokemon. They aren't even your Pokemon, you use your daddies. Maybe that's why you lost. <sighs> but a defeat is a defeat. All right, take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr Badge. Oki okay, received the Zephyr Badge for Faulkner. Da da da. With that badge, Pokemon, including created Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you. Without question. Ooh, Rock Smash. 
Oh, and what is this TM? Okay, yeah, I know what TMs are. What what the hell is this TM? Oh, Roost! The bane of my existence if he had gotten the chance to use it in this battle. Azalea Town. Thanks, cutie. Anything else? There are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead. You should test your skills at these gyms. As for your next move... Okay, so we just said what he said already. I'm gonna train harder to become the greatest Gird Keeper of all. You'll always be the greatest Bird Keeper in my book, Falconer. Don't forget me. I won't forget you even once I become champion. <gasps> Until I see another attractive gym leader, maybe. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh, somebody's calling me. Oh, it's Professor Elm. Let's see what this fool has to say. Hello, Oki. Okay. We've discovered something. The details, well, I can't really say anything, but you want you to carry that egg. The hell? My assistant is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Oh, that's convenient. I happen to be in Violet City. Click. Oh, I don't even get to, um, I don't even get to respond to that. He just asks me to do something and hangs up. How rude. Okay. Well, anyway. You must be that assistant. Good day, Oki, isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. No, that's not the assistant. Oh, the shit. Oh. Got anything else for me? Oh, <laughs> any more packages? Okay. Um, I'm so relieved how that um, battle with Falconer went. We would like you to take care of an egg. Is it the one for Mr. Pokemon? Oh, how convenient I happen to have another um, spot. On my party. Okay. Who the hell did he talk to on the phone? What was what was this conversation? Ugh. I just like that they're just dumping crap on me without my consent. I'm offended. What is who is this? What is oh my gosh, yay, we're back to the point. Me oh my. That egg must be. I see, so it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it! That egg is truly an important egg! Please do take good care of it for me! Is that the stir? Yes, I spontaneously. I'm counting on you, Oki! I'm gonna go frolic away and I can on now! I decided in the middle of our interaction that she reminded me of an opera character. That's why that voice came from. And from now on, that will be the voice for Kimono Girls. All right, now can a bitch just have a moment to heal? Okay, well, guys, I think it's been, well, it's been well over 10 minutes at least, so <laughs> not exactly sure when I started, but um, I think this would be a good time to bid you farewell, so I, Next time we will um, go to Azalea Town, maybe off camera I will figure out where the hell that place is. <laughs> and, um, and, 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 yeah, we'll um, go from there. Yeah, I think um, great things are on the horizon. So I hope that this, um, I don't know, this wasn't that interesting either, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm gonna bid you adieu now, and I hope hope you have a good one. Maybe the next video will come out soon too. It's all about motivation, right? Look at look at Centra's tail. Okay, okay, that's enough.